I am so excited because today I just received something awesome in the mail. In this video, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on using the new VexIQ Pneumatics Kit. G'day, I'm Mr. Code. The word pneumatics comes from the ancient Greek word pneuma, meaning wind. So a pneumatic system uses air pressure to actuate mechanisms on your robot rather than using motors. Adding a pneumatic system to your robot can free up your motors to do other more important tasks. If you want to learn more about using the V5 pneumatics kit, then you can check out my other video over here. Today, you're going to need the VEX IQ pneumatics kit, uh, the VEX uh, IQ brain. You're also going to need a sharp pair of scissors to cut the tubing to length. If you want to stay up to date with the latest VEX robotics tutorials, then please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. It is your support that lets me continue making content, so I thank you in advance. We're going to start by connecting up a basic pneumatic system that my good friend Tyler showed in the official VEX video. So let's open up our pneumatics kit and identify the key parts to our pneumatics system. These silver canisters over here are your air tanks. They will be the main storage device for the air in your pneumatic system. Uh, moving over here, we have a box of fittings. Now these fittings come in different shapes and they can help redirect the flow of air uh, throughout your pneumatic system. Over here in the corner, we have a roll of pneumatics tubing. You gotta make sure you have a sharp pair of scissors so that you can cut these into length uh, later on in the video. These devices over here are called solenoids. The solenoids are the electronic parts that turn the flow of air on or off to your pneumatic cylinders. Over here, we have eight pneumatic cylinders that come in two different sizes. The pneumatic cylinders have a plunger in the middle that can extend and retract depending on where the air is redirected. And finally, we have an automatic air pump, and this is unique to the VEX IQ pneumatic system. This can actually automatically refill the air canisters while your system is running. It's really, really, really cool. All right, let's start building. So the first step is to attach our air pump to our air tank, and that's going to be really simple. All you have to do is connect it like so. Make sure that both of the nozzles are heading out the same way. Um, so that it's easier for you later on in this video. Next, we're going to cut some tubing to connect our air tank and our uh, air pump together, and then have one fitting so that we can redirect the air into our solenoid. Gonna use this T-shaped fitting like this. And then going to start cutting some tubing. Here we're going to put two short pieces of tubing on the um, air pump. There we go, push it in nice and tight. And then with the two sides of the tubing, we're going to attach it to um, this T fitting. With that a bit of tubing, we're going to put in um, the connection to the solenoid. So if you look closely at the solenoid, um, there are two halves to it. So there's the left half and the right half. This is pump one and pump two, or solenoid one and solenoid two. Uh, so you can actually control two different cylinders, but we are only going to use uh, the first half today. So here, on the first half, there are the letters A, P, and B written uh, right next to these nozzles. So our air has to go into the P-labeled nozzle. So that's this one down the middle. 
Okay, so this one over here is where we uh, redirect uh, the air from the pump. And then on A and B, that's where, that's the top and the bottom one here. Uh, and A and B is where the output uh, goes to your cylinder. So after you have attached your cable, it should look something like this. So you have your um, your pump and your air tank connecting into a T-shaped fitting, and then it all going into the P-labeled nozzle on the um, on the solenoid. Okay, let's keep on going. We're going to have to cut another couple of lengths of tubing to connect our cylinder together. So we're going to connect one tube to A over here on the top. And that's going to connect to the uh, one end of your cylinder. And then we're going to connect another tube to the B side. And then attach it to the other end of the cylinder. So now if you look carefully, on the cylinder we have um, air going in both sides. But when the air goes into the, uh, the B side of our cylinder, it's going to push the plunger out. And then when we want to retract it, when we want to put the, push the plunger back in, air is going to be directed into the A side, and then it's going to pull the plunger back in. Now all we have to do is get the uh, three-wire cable from our pump connected to the solenoid. Finally, we're going to connect the brain to your solenoid using a smart cable. I'm going to connect it onto port one. And that's it. Before we get to the code, I want to talk about my Robotics Center Creator Academy. CA is dedicated to teaching kids about coding and robotics. And in 2022, our students were the Australian national champions in VEX Robotics. And four of our teams qualified for Worlds in Dallas, Texas. If your team is also heading to Worlds, then make sure you comment below. We love to share ideas and connect with other teams around the world. If you are in Australia, then why not visit us in Eastwood or Chatswood to see how we can support your child or school robotics team. Visit our website at www.creatoracademy.au. So make sure you get started by downloading the latest version of VexCode IQ. Your version of VexCode IQ should have pneumatics in your devices when you add a device. So here you go into your devices menu on the top, you go add a device and then you choose pneumatic. And then here is a picture of a solenoid here. Click on that and select the right port. So our port is at port one. And then we can keep all of our settings, the default settings, if you have built it the same way we have shown in the tutorial. Click done. And now coding is super easy. So when the program starts, we need to turn the pump on. And then we're going to activate our cylinder by uh, using the buttons on our, um, on our brain. So here we go into events. When the left button is pressed, we'll go and set the pneumatic pump, Oop, sorry, uh, extend the pneumatic pump. Well, actually, we'll retract. We'll retract the pneumatic pump, and then you can duplicate. Whoops, what did I do? Uh, duplicate the block, and then make it so that when the right button is pressed, we will extend the pneumatic pump, uh, pneumatic cylinder. That's it. So connect everything up, and then download the code, and then we can test it out. Okay, let's have a look at the table again. Now, 
when I start the program, you're going to hear a, uh, a a vibration from the air pump, and that's because the air pump needs to constantly be running to maintain the pressure on the air tank. So here, when I press run, you might hear that little hum. That means that your air pressure system is working. All right, now let's uh, try extending our air cylinder. Here we go. Pretty cool, huh? All right. So what about coding in C++? Well, that's extremely easy as well. Let's take a look. Back in your software, we can um, start a new project, new text project in C++. And then here, we're going to have a couple of events, it's exactly the same things. Okay. Uh, hold on, before we do that, we add our pneumatic device, select port one. And then when the program starts, we're going to need to start our pump as well. So here, where it says pump on, drag that into main. And then we're going to need uh, an event for your left button and your right button. So here, uh, left button call callback. And then we're going to need to have a right button callback as well. Button left button right and then for your callback methods we're going to go into functions to add your functions here and this is going to be called uh, say cylinder extend and then we call one cylinder retract So when the left button is pressed, we retract, and when the right button is pressed, we extend. So we just copy that um, uh, the the function names into those uh, uh, parameters in the callback, and then inside here, in our functions, we go extend pneumatic cylinder. and retract and that's it all right we download this code save the project and then it's the same thing we run it again have a look at our table press the right button to extend left button to retract In case you didn't know, I have made hundreds of technology videos from Lego Robotics to VEX to Raspberry Pi and even 3D printing. Teaching technology is my full-time job, so if this video helps you out, then please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. You can also join our Coding Essentials membership that gives an extra 269 hours worth of Scratch and Python coding classes. Simply click on the Join button below to find out more. That's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.